I said in a recent review of 3D Tic-Tac-Toe that any game you can play with a simple sheet of paper and a writing utensil should not be packaged into a video game and sold for $30. Well, here's another example, Hangman. This, much like 3D Tic-Tac-Toe, is a classic pen and paper game that was released during the early period of the Atari 2600, 1978 to be specific. It plays in the same traditional fashion. You have to guess letters to spell out a word, and if you can't fill the entire word in 11 tries, the game is over and the man is hanged. Uh, I mean, a monkey appears. I guess despite the fact that it's a common practice for children to execute a stick figure by hanging in a pen and paper game, it's still too violent to include on a video game. Even though they kept the fucking name Hangman. Anyway, there are one and two player modes. In one player, you have to guess the word conjured up by the CPU in 11 attempts. And in two player mode, you compete against each other indefinitely until someone completes the word. Similar to Wheel of Fortune. And you can enter a custom word for your opponent to guess, so long as you trust each other to not peek at the screen during the word selection process. The difficulty switch also toggles whether or not you have a 20 second time limit to choose your letter, which can be handicapped to individual players to create competitive balance. Thankfully, the letters are easy to decipher and scrolling through the alphabet is a smooth process. As weird as it sounds to praise that, I could easily see a scenario where a shitty interface was implemented, like you could only scroll through the alphabet in one direction or something. I know that a cursor across a map of letters works better for this sort of thing, but on the Atari 2600, you can't expect to jam something like that on a screen with the word and the monkey and the letter map while still being able to read all the letters in the first place. Short version, this layout makes more sense. I think to make the letters as legible as they could, the programmers decided to use such large letters, which led to the longest words in the game being only six letters. But shorter words tend to be more difficult to guess anyway, because the longer a word or phrase is, the better chance you'll guess a letter correctly, and before you know it, you're able to deduce the whole word when you're not even halfway done with it yet. The game modes range the vocabulary from first grade level up to high school, so if you're in grade school or an adult, you can make this work. The problem though is, beside the fact that you can just easily play the game for a fraction of the price with a simple sheet of paper, there are a limited amount of words in the game. I'm not sure of the actual number, it may even be more than you'd expect. I don't know, I haven't seen any repeats, but with enough playing, you're bound to run into some, eventually. It's nice to be able to enter your own words, I guess, but again, that leads to the original question, why not play this game with a piece of goddamn paper? At least then you can hang the bastard.